This is our 2015-2016 VEX Robotics Nothing But Net Robot. We went with the typical flywheel launcher using 5 inch wheels. We have an intake system down here along with a conveyor system to bring the balls up to that. Um, we used this gearbox which is two 36 tooth gears um, taking these motors and pairing them together which then run an 84 tooth gear that's been made into a ratchet off of Rex 1727B's design. That 84 tooth gear goes to a uh, 12 tooth gear which drives a 36 tooth gear and another 12 tooth gear coming out to be a 21 to 1 gear ratio. Um, these wheels will spin at uh, just over 31 miles an hour. Um, we use this bracketing system to allow us to change the angle multiple different ways. This is on a pivot. Here, pop this off. So this is on a pivot and then this will be on a pivot too. So if we take that one off, this one off, then we can pivot this as much as we want. And that allows us to open up the robot to do servicing on it. So this is just lets you, gives you a better look at the gearboxes here where we've got these. And then we have this mounted on hinges here. This is our intake system. It has these two wheels on a linear slide that slide up and down. And then those can come off really easily to be serviced. We can set those to the side. As well as two intake wheels that spin like spin sideways to help feed that ball into this tunnel. This is just a tunnel with a one to one gear ratio on our motor that just drives its direct drive and just this pulls the balls up that mounts against this plate that we have placed on this these wheels right here. We also decided to go with a one to one gear ratio on our wheels which we have the motor mounted up top that drives the wheels and then there's an encoder deep inside there to allow us to do programming procedures involving encoders. We chose encoders this year over IMEs based on accuracy um, and what we had read about other teams' robots. Is there anything I'm missing? We have the interchangeable um, license plate things where you just pull them out and switch them around. That's pretty common. It saves us a lot of time. Here's our robot again. Um, we're just going to show you how the intake and everything works. So we feed a ball in here and then we can bring it up to the lid. Shot. They are on.